What the fuck? What's going on YouTube and what up to the Dragon Squad? I am Ember, the Blaze, and I'm Glacier, the Iceborn, and we are Reaction Dragons, coming to you from the Dragon's Lair. And a quick reminder guys, if you like the vibe, like and subscribe. Doesn't cost a dime and helps us go full time. Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Thanks so much for the support guys and welcome to Mini for today, Glacier. So excited for this guys, we're at the season finale of Dark, episode 10, Alpha and Omega. Alpha and Omega, the end and the beginning. Or the beginning and the end. I think that's how it goes. First season's been nothing short of incredible. I mean, so many yeah. jaw-dropping moments, so much intricate storytelling, and there's shit that like we were kind of talking off camera that like it's the shit that we don't even think about. And it probably would have helped us going through the progression of the storytelling. We would have thought about these little things that probably would have helped us get things a little bit faster. Yeah. Like, one thing I noticed is Eric being in the um, wallpaper room with the chair, we could have figured out it was 1986 a long time ago. We would remember the fact that when Eric was in that room, he was watching 80s music videos. Yep. But of course, they could have played the 80s music movie under any of the eras because yeah. of time travel. But I mean, if they brought the TV through, but I doubt they're going to go through the trouble. It would have made the most sense. Yeah, clearly. But so shit like that. And another thing we we're thinking about is the fact that, like, with the house, like somebody commented in the um, last video that we thought that initially that Egon and his wife's house ended up being the hotel that Regina works at yeah, like today, a, like a bed and breakfast. Yeah, like a B and like an Airbnb. But it turns out. Cause we like we heard it, but we didn't really like process it. When Agnes first gets to winning and she talks to Ulrich, she pretty much says, "I'm looking for this address," and Ulrich's like, "That's where I live." So apparently, what happened is at some point there was a transfer of property where the it would be what the Tiedemans ended up selling their house to the Nielsen, which we're thinking maybe has something to do with that affair that Agnes possibly will be having with. Egon's wife, right? That would be crazy as fuck if they end up getting together and kicking Egon to the curb and they end up, you know, like getting married or whatever the case is and she ends up passing the house on to Agnes and, and that's how they end up owning it. Yeah, we never see what happens to Egon's wife at that point though. Yeah, we don't she's see what happens. I don't think she's in 2019, right? I think the only time she's in is 1953 from what I understand. Yeah, but right, yeah, yeah, and that would kind of add fuel to fire as to like why Egon kind of has hatred for the Nielsen family because he always had this like this hatred for Ulrich, and we're always thinking maybe it's because he's just a juvenile kid, but it could be that, if that happened, and it could also be the fact that Claudia was fucking Tronti. Ulrich's father was fucking Egon's daughter, so maybe he didn't like that shit at all. And that's on top of the fact that his yeah. wife cheated on him with a woman, then I can see why he would have such ill feelings towards the Nielsen. So if that's the case, that would make sense. And then also, on the other hand, the Dopplers, who are rich, like Helgi's dad, yeah. fucking millionaire, and apparently they end up treat, like selling their property to the Tiedemans. Burned, I should say. Burns Mansion is what they end up turning into the hotel. Right. So those are little things that we don't like think about in the moment, but it does make sense how yeah. that happens. And I think how that came about, like just a theory is that the last episode, I think it was when- Yeah, Ulrich Helgi's dad goes to Egon, like I need you to find my son at all costs. So yeah. we were thinking that obviously young Helgi survives and ends up going back to 53 so he can live his life as you know old Helgi. Right. So maybe that's what the deal was. And you know, Helgi's dad was in such like, you know, such appreciation for that. He's like, oh, I got you no matter what. And ends up like hooking him up by selling him the- or giving the, the mansion, giving the mansion to, or, to Claudia, or maybe giving the mansion to Claudia as like a present. Like, he's like, not, not only do you have the mansion, you also got a nuclear plant job. So exactly, that would explain how Claudia got the nuclear plant job. So right. all that because of the fact that you know Egon saved uh, helped Helps. life. Yeah. So, so yeah, that would be crazy, like crazy intricate storytelling. I'm telling you, but yeah. as far as that goes, like what I. So I want to find out as far as we're at the season finale. I don't know if they're going to tile this up or if this is kind of just going to leak over into season two. One thing I was thinking about, how the fuck does Ehrlich get out of 1953? Because we got to think <laughs> about it. As far as everybody's concerned, he just killed a child. Yeah, and if, if he did, when obviously Helga gets back, it's still attempted murder. Yeah, at the very least, it's attempted murder. But as of right now, they're charging with the murder of a child. So best case scenario, he has life in prison. I don't know how the fuck, the, I don't know how the death penalty was going on in Germany in 1953, but I feel like it's not off the table if you kill a child. So he could be facing death penalty. But let's say at the very least, he goes to jail for a really long time. How the fuck's he gonna get out of 53? Because I don't think anybody can really save him at this point. I mean, Jonas can time travel now, but Jonas doesn't even know Oryx in 53. They still have to break him out. They have, they have to literally break him out of prison because there's, he did it, he admitted it. He's not like he, he his blood did it. it. The blood's on his hands and he confessed it to Ego. So it's like, what happens if Oryx gets stuck in 53 and then we see some cut in 1986 of him talking to some old man that we've never seen before? Right. If that happens, I'm gonna be like, that's fucking Oryx. Yeah, Oryx stuck in 53 and he aged into like 80 year old man by the time we get to 86. 
Yeah, which would be crazy. crazy as shit. So a little shit like that, I'm thinking about. So I just, I don't know how the hell that's gonna play out. Yeah. Um, also, where did Claudia get the blueprint? Because I have, I highly doubt that she created that time machine. She's the one that designed it herself. I feel like, so I don't know, maybe the blueprint she found it in 2019 somehow, maybe it was hidden somewhere. And that would make sense why she takes it back to the younger version of uh, Townhouse in 53 and say, I need you to build it. You head start. And is that part of the loop? Was that meant to happen? Is that right. what that's, pushed them to build the machine? In the that's, first what I, that's the main question I ask every episode. Like, where? When is this not part of the loop? Who's? When is someone breaking the loop? If at all. If nobody. At all. What if nobody breaks the loop? And this is all just. All these events are made to happen. It's a paradox. Yeah. It's like a serpent eating its own tail. So, so there's that. And also, what does Noah want from Bartosh? Because Bartosh agrees to help him because he pretty much predicted that um, that Bartosh's grandmother would come back from the dead, essentially. Right. The question is, is Noah going to end up using Bartosh and strapping him to the chair directly? Or is he just trying to get Bartosh to recruit another kid to strap to the chair? And is that other kid, if I had to guess, is it Jonas? I think, if it's my prediction, I think he's going to char his fucking eyes out. I mean, I won't put it past Noah. Noah's a cold motherfucker, so. <laughs> <laughs> but and excited to see what happens there. And then also, what is Hannah plotting with Alexander? Because obviously he knows Alexander's real name's Boris and that he's been faking another identity. We don't even know what happened to the real Alexander. Yeah. But Hannah's pretty much like, I want you to destroy Ulrich's life. So does she mean like, just by destroying his life as far as like what he has, his, his marriage and his relationship with his kids and shit? Or does, he, does she mean like, finger to the throat means death? Yeah, who knows? She's fucking ruthless too, and like a, like a black widow almost. And I also yeah. want to know what old Helgi's up to. Yeah, because we find out old Helgi ended up. So what happened in this case? Old Helgi went to 1986, and Ulrich trying to follow him went to 1953. I feel like that's what ultimately happened. Yeah. Because now old Helgi is literally watching his self from his uh, adult self from 86, and so what's Hel I feel like is he still gonna be plotting to like kill his 86 self to prevent him from kidnapping the kids at this point? Is that like his redemption arc? Yeah, but that would be breaking the loop. That would definitely be like the one thing. Because old Helgi obviously lived and he has guilt and he's like, I gotta stop. Unless, again, it's all part of loop and he fails to kill 86 Helgi and causes some chain event that caused something else that that's yeah, already happened. True. So who the fuck knows there? And then one thing I was thinking is Claudia, like old Claudia mentions that something happened the summer of 86. And that's why she disappeared. disappeared. That's why she disappeared. What we also know is Michael kills himself in June of 2019, which would be the summer of 2019. So those two incidents would be exactly 33 years apart. So I wonder if those two and are connected. The stranger also said, your father saved me at one point. So that has to So is that like a pivot, one of those points that like kind of like in the center of that triple time loop? It caused right? like a, yeah, like, like a three different characters, three different events that caused like a pivot point. So I'm thinking maybe that, I don't think that's on accident that those both like incidents happen in the summer, yeah. so. And then with Agnes's husband, I still want to find out who he is, because I feel like, I don't know, I don't know how they would tie it in, but I feel like it's Noah. The way she was describing her husband as a pastor that kind of lost his faith, and, if it's and then Noah, they transition right to Noah talking to Helgi's mom. And if it is Noah, that means that's Ulrich's father, or granddaughter. Or Ulrich's Ulrich, grandfather. Grandfather, Ulrich's grandfather. Which, depending on how the time, we're also thinking about some crazy shit, thinking about how jo that would be Jonas's great grandfather. Father, right? Yeah, we're thinking about because there's a couple things with Jonas. It's like I'm pretty sure at this point Jonas realized he obviously realizes that Mikkel is his father. Which little things we don't think about that means that Ulrich and Katarina are his grandparents. Which is weird because Martha is his aunt. And the thing that we're thinking about that would be crazy as fuck. I don't know if they're even gonna have the cojones to pull this off, but <laughs> how do we know? Jerry Springer's shit. Yeah, like do we know how long Ulrich and Hannah have officially been fucking? I don't think they've really established that. We just know. I mean, we know they're fucking after Jonas has already been born. Right. But they've known each other since before Jonas was born. So who's to say Hannah wasn't fucking Ulrich? Right around the same time she's fucking Mikkel, which would bring this whole paternity test. Like, who's the father? What if Elric ends up being Jonas's father? Yeah, Elric is Jonas's father, which makes um, Martha his half sister. Which would like blow my brains out of my skull. Like, what in the entire fuck? Because that's not off the table either. Because yeah. we don't, we haven't gone to a scene like the exact moment where Elric and Hannah start hooking up. Right. It's like all these in between shit. I, mean, I think the only other small detail we don't know who um, Claudia's husband that maybe. Yeah, Claudia's that's father. A, I don't know if we've officially met Claudia's, I don't know if you'd say her, her husband or her baby daddy, but pretty much Regina's father. I don't think we've right. actually met him yet. I don't see him in 86 or 53. But is, maybe something happens to him and that's what triggers Claudia to essentially disappear, fall off the face of the earth. Maybe to go find him or something, because he's not even, uh, we haven't seen him like again. To my knowledge, I haven't, we haven't seen him in the show at all. But other than that, I mean, I want to know about the apocalypse. Like, when does it happen? What exactly happens? Does the plant explode? Does something happen to do with that? And what's in the actual drums that um, that was apparently Alexander's been hiding where the hooker lives? Oh, yeah, and the stranger's actually there fucking around with the Stranger's there. there. But, I mean, I know, like, Helgi's dad said that it was pretty much like some kind of pipe, some kind of explosion that happened in 86, and that's 
and they help they kind of hit all that shit in those drums but i want to know more extent exactly what it is and what it actually does in terms of like the time travel the wormhole all that shit but yeah a lot of questions but this show's incredible i just want to see how the first season plays out so we can go right into season two but i'm ready Liz. you ready yep i'm ready as fuck all right guys and as usual just take a couple seconds to the like button down below the impressions do lead to more views and you can go ahead and catch the first episode of season two reaction on patreon with that being said let's fucking go Damn the day of Mikkel's disappearance. That was on November 4th, right? Yep. Oh, we're gonna see it. Oh shit. And there's Peter's ass. Peter. Like, oh, I wanna know, yeah, how are you and Chanti involved? So we're here. So damn, we do know he goes and visits his hooker friend. Yep, here he goes. Damn, he's heavy breathing. Like nervous as fuck. Oh shit, I made me jump. Uh, Asshole. Oh shit, something's happening. Oh shit, someone's getting sent through the time machine. Oh shit, we're seeing oh, happen. Oh shit, so do, do, do teleport here. Fuck. Yeah, he's coming from 86, whatever this is. Would this be Mads' body? Mads. I bet it's Mads. Like, why is he acting like he's never seen that before? Yep, it's Mads. It's Mads. Bro, his eyes oh, maybe he's out. put there to try to revive him. Is that it? DNA's all over him. Oh yeah. And either, he, that, either that or he, he feel guilty about he was about to cheat. Identification. Yep. Mads. Fucking crazy. 1973. That's when he's born. Ich bin's Peter. Holy shit. Es, es gibt hier was, was du sehen solltest. Es, es geht um dein... It's crazy as fuck. <gasps> no, 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 not really. That's how, that's how Tronti gets involved. He's like, oh my god. He's been missing for 33 no. years. Fuck, I mean, oh, that's older. froggy. And why did you tell the mom? I mean, I get why you don't tell the mom, but still. Because he's like, he's dead as fuck. He's like, I'm not trying to tell anybody. That murder's gonna be on my hands. Oh shit! Oh, oh here's Claudia. Wow, we're getting everybody she in this. Ben knows. She knows what the fuck's going on. Claudia. So, what the fuck? I thought you were dead, girl. So, she knows. She expected this to happen too. Okay, let me unwrap my brain. That just fuck. That's the intro. That's the intro for the season finale. Holy shit. Okay, so <laughs> I feel like if I had to guess, I would say Noah is the one that sent Peter to the basement. And said at this specific time, I'm sending a body through this wormhole. When he comes through, try to revive him. Because remember, they're just trying to time. They're not trying or, to intentionally or, kill kids. He actually went to get his dick licked. He felt guilty. He took off and he sat because he owns that property and he's just trying to, you know, he's trying to or fight the guilt maybe, of not doing it. And he, because he's obviously shocked as fuck seeing that. So that's, well, it's probably, I mean, even if like he was told to go there, if that's his first time seeing somebody travel to a fucking world, he's going to be like, what in the entire fuck? You're not preparing me. Yeah, either this. way. Either that so either, or. Okay, so either he went there and he, because why was he saying that prayer? Like, let me accept the things I cannot change. Like, he's saying a prayer like he, he needs something about I can't about change it himself, like how he feels about. He's married could, to Charlotte. I, I like men. That's what it is. And then okay, so that okay, so then that could be a possibility where he just goes down there, guilty as fuck that he's cheating. Yeah. The body comes through. He calls Tron. He's like, "Oh fuck, your son's here." I'm yep, sure my you, mind's and you've been looking for your son for the past thirty years. Yeah. And then Claudia comes out like, "Oh, I have to talk to you." Also, but that definitely confirms that Claudia's in on this shit. She's that interested. In on, like, she just knows that that and that maybe. Maybe who, she got there before Helgi moved the body. Because usually the other person in the raincoats moved the body, unless she's the girl in the raincoat. I guess we'll find out how involved is she. <laughs> how involved is she? Oh, fuck. Wait, who's that? Oh, well, should tell me you didn't sleep with Martha. Oh shit, it's Mikkel, what the fuck? Is he dreaming? Okay. <laughs> I was like, uh... That doesn't look anything like Mikkel, though. He was wearing the skeleton thing, though. Yeah, his face looked different, though. Woo! gonna go back there he's gonna go back but for he's, what fuck oh he's gonna go back and get Mikkel and say fuck this maybe yeah because he had a dream about Mikkel and that like oh, I'm gonna go get him fuck it if I sorry I hooked up with Jonas I'm sorry okay. that would be mo for Bartosh to grab Jonas as the next experiment he seems shady as fuck now because imagine if she just Mart like Jonas already fucked him over or he stood him up and then Martha's like I fucked Jonas I'm sorry Bartosh I kissed him, you know. And he's probably like, oh, oh yeah, there's Helgi. So what is your end game? Oh shit, Jonas is calling around. Oh shit. Oh shit, yeah, they ran around about yep. the shit. Like I know. We're gonna find out if it's the exact same note or if it's if he wrote two different notes to his mom and to his son. So it's okay, it's the same note. 
See? Aber du hättest Mickey retten können. Und ich habe jetzt noch eine Oma und die ist Direktorin an meiner Schule. See? Oh shit. Carry it. Der Mann, der nebenbei meine Mutter fickt, sucht seinen Sohn. Der <lacht> He's all fucked up. Damn, he knows about him fucking his mom. Und das Krasse ist, was da schief läuft, das sind nicht die. Was da schief läuft, bin ich. Wir sind für Gott zu spielen. Weiß, was die Zukunft bringt. Nah. He's really thinking about getting Mecca even if it means destroying him. Yep, he's going to. I think this is going to push him. Fuck. Paradox. Damn. Damn. Clean ass trick. Fucking Houdini, you. Shit, yeah. this picture's going to be back there in the past. Fuck. Can they find that old picture? <laughs> you son of a bitch. Okay. My only aim is to take many lives. The more, the better I feel. He said that shit to Ulrich in his room, remember? Oh, yeah. This mugshot's gotta be somewhere. Why did he kill the children? Wow. Oof. So his wife does Ooh. leave him. His wife does leave him. And probably for Agnes. Damn. If your wife leaves you. So it must be like common knowledge in the town, that's what happened. Oh shit. Fuck my girl. Donnerstag. Mich sitzen lassen, mich anlügen, mit meiner Freundin rummachen. Du bist Oh shit. Genau wie dein Vater. Oh shit, here we go. The rain just makes everything more intense. I mean, you this is your fault, Martha. You started it. I know you. Damn, this is cuz of you. So it's gonna like motivate, motivate him to go back. Yeah, it's all motivating him to go back. You know, fuck my life. Fuck, I'm getting nickel. Sie haben ihn repariert. Das ist ihr Beginn und das Ende einer Sache gleichzeitig betrachtet. Alpha and Omega. The phone. Oryx's phone. Yeah, mit einer Art Signal. Einen Elektromagnet. So you turn Oryx's phone into a remote for that machine? Hat sich nie gedreht. Er war ein Bauplan. It activates the machine. Für 137. What the fuck is CS-137? The chemical. Radioactive? Yep. That was, it was, it was in the drum. The byproduct of that, that little mini meltdown. Holy shit, I'm about to see his work. Damn. By tomorrow, he what are some, you doing? He knows some shit's about to go down in 2019. Weißt du, wann genau das war? She's gonna find the pictures. Später, okay? Because Peter fuck. knows. All right. She's fuck gotta go fuck. find old photos. She's gonna see old Ulrich. She's, She's gonna, gonna see old Ulrich in '53. Ulrich mugshot. What if he's still in prison? That's what I'm saying. What if we like go to like go see '86 and he's an old ass man? But that's Ulrich. Stop it. Stop it. Season finale. Stop it's it. Fucking my brain. Now this is gonna involve old Helgi. See, old Helgi's trying to fuck with it, and so is. Uh, but is old Helgi a part of the paradox? I feel like he's definitely gonna try to kill '86 Helgi. Oh, he's waiting for him. Holy shit. It was like fucking Looper. <laughs> when you get close, you'll know it's him. Yeah, when you see the, the ears, you're like, oh shit, I know. You must oh, this is probably warning. Like, you don't stop, I'm gonna stop you. Holy shit. He doesn't know his future. And the acting, or the casting makes this believable. I believe it's the same person. Oh shit. He's like blowing his mind from the future. He's like, what the fuck? I love the camera pan, you can see the ear. Today's the day. Oh. Damn, old Helgi. You think 86 Helgi realizes who he is? Woohoo, that just got him shook. Bro. What would you your future self came back? Hey, you I have would... to stop, man. This guy is full of shit. He looked at the side of his face, he's like, He had to have known. That's why he started probably crying. He wigged out, he's like, He probably saw his ear. We, we can't see the ear, but 86 Helgi can see his ear. He's probably, oh my god. Oh no, is he thinking the same thing? What do you think? You think hanging yourself is going to do anything? I don't think he even knows about the letter. He's, he's just going back or he's going to kill himself. Yeah. Because as far as the whole Michael Mega thing, Hannah's still in the dark. Everything will be fine. You're going back. This is a goodbye. It's goodbye. Fuck. He's here. Now he was looking at the thing like he was going to hang himself. So is he going to do that? Or maybe he's that just thinking. That's a call for you, Hannah, to get the fuck out there and grab your like son. Follow him. But she doesn't even know it, all this shit is happening. Something's about to happen. How? 
Das ist, was Claudia ist about to do. Ist in den letzten acht Tagen passiert. Ich muss auf Wiesel stehen. Shit, that's what that's Claudia's timestamps, you're right. Vor Jahren, ich war noch ein kleiner Junge. Da kam ein Fremder zu uns. Stranger, oh, interesting. Das sah aus, als wäre er im Krieg gewesen. Hat nicht viel gesprochen. Und seine Augen waren diese... What the fuck? Why did they transition to Jonah? Wow, I'm getting goosebumps. Dein Schmerz hat dich gemacht, Helge. Aber er hat keine Macht mehr über dich. Listen to the words of your older self, Helgi. He's evil as fuck. Nah, he's just good at manipulating, man. Also, he's evil as fuck. Yes, Who's next? Why? To Fuck Aaron. you, Helgi. Didn't say Bartosh or Jonas. Jonas! Oh, shit! Fuck! He was the target. Was oh, this the moment where she's like, I'll adopt him? So, Mikkel's been there like a week at this point. I want to bring... I'm going to bring the prince. <laughs> Aber dann sind sie doch noch gar nicht tot. Sie hat aber nichts daran, dass sie immer sterben werden. It's crazy, Jonas is speaking with the wisdom of a time traveler now. <laughs> You're crazy. Speaks fucking wisdom through your ass. Kind of sounds like a stranger when he says shit like that. When you become a time traveler and you're like in your 20s, bro, you're really like your 90s after a while. You feel like a time <gasps> god. She's gonna find, She's gonna find fucking Ulrich. Unknown person. And go to the mugshot. <laughs> She's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah. She's she gonna go save him. And she probably has memories of Jonas saying that to her or in 86. Or they about to kill his ass. Bitte lass mich raus. You guys like, oh, you were talking all that shit earlier. Willst du nicht reden? Ich bin dabei zu reden. God, you beat, beat the information out of him. Holy shit. I'm getting goosebumps on his fuck right now. Yep. What is Mikkel gonna do? What is Mikkel gonna do when he sees Jonas? That's the question. Yeah, because this is literally the first time they've actually been able to talk. He's like, I'm here to save you, man. I feel like this would break the loop. Oh, you know what, you motherfucker, you. Is this the scene we already seen where he's telling no, he doesn't believe in God? Oh, you oh, motherfucker! No. He knew he was coming he from Mikkel, he was coming. motherfucking cocksucker. Guys. Of course no one knows he's coming. Ooh, I have a feeling that this is the motherfucking stranger. <sighs> Rose kind of looks to him. It's a stranger. Warum haben Sie mich eingesperrt? Lassen Sie mich hier raus. Das kann ich nicht. Holy shit, this stranger's doing. Wer sind Sie? Oh, we're gonna find out. Sie sehen mich. Diesen Brief hast 33 Jahre bei dir tragen, bevor du ihn weitergeben kannst. Does it mean you're Jonas, you son of a bitch? Ich oh, God damn it! <laughs> My name is Jonas. Wowzers! That explains why Enos has a letter still. I sure I say to me. Weil dieses Gespräch hier schon mal geführt, nur weil ich damals. Das macht überhaupt keinen Sinn. Du kannst dich jetzt entscheiden, mich hier freizulassen. He's doing this so he doesn't take Mikko back. Ich kann dich nicht herauslassen, weil du dann nicht zu dem wirst, was ich heute bin. Ich will, dass der ganze kranke Scheiß aufhört. Das willst du immer noch. 33 Jahre später. Ich will das immer noch. Oh! Oh, Helgi? Was that old Helgi? You T-boning son of a bitch? Did he do it? He hit the driver's side, so if he's not dead, he's pretty fucked up. But he didn't die, so... Or is, this the, or is this the end of old Helgi's timeline? Yeah, he made a valiant effort, but failed. So it doesn't really change shit. Yeah, this is the end of his road. Which is crazy, because then he knows that how he, how he dies. And didn't someone mention an accident? Look, November 13, the accident. So it was already in history books. So the accident already happened. Oh my god, that is crazy. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Who will? My palms are sweaty. Knees weak, arms are heavy. There's <laughs> vomit on my sweater already. Gleich findet alles seinen Anfang. Der ältere Jonas wird das Loch zerstören. Es ist, dass er der Auslöser dafür sein wird, dass es überhaupt existiert. Ein paar. The explosion destroys it and creates it. Der Museum in seiner nutzlosen Maschine ist nicht dafür da, das Loch für immer zu vernichten. Alpha and Omega. And that explains why it exists in 53. There's a connection, finally. Holy 
shit. Oh, he died, bro. Yep, that's the end of his timeline right there. The body is good. She's trying to undo all this shit still. I wonder if Noah told Bartosz that Jonas is going to come to you, confront him, you're going to get in a fight, and you're going to push him away, and that's what's going to drive him into 1986. And that's going to set all this shit in motion. And it's crazy, because now that I know that's Jonas, I can't unsee Jonas's face now. Now we just got to reach 1.21 gigawatts, and... Ah, it's no DeLorean. Is it going to kill him in the process, though? Is this where his loop ends? That would be crazy. I still want to see how he got the thing on his neck. That's yeah. the thing, like, how the fuck did... That means that Jonas would have hung himself. Oh, shit. Michael. Oh, my God, it's creating it. Look at that shit. Yep. Mm. Fucking black hole. Where did he end up? Did he die in prison? If he doesn't break out of here, he's stuck here. It's crazy. Like it's all the timelines. All timelines. Are, oh, like yeah, because he's in the middle of the thing. Yeah. He's in Something happened in the summer. Summer 86. This is it. Yep. Oh, my God. They can see the shit. Damn, she's strapped like Rambo. Oh, it's like over. It's not like expanding out. It's like this, but it's over the timelines. Yeah. Those represent expanding timelines. over all three timelines. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, he's still in the bunker. It's crazy. So, oh, the fuck! Something he sent to 1986. Is this how he gets sent to 1986? 53. But is this how Jonas goes to 53? He's in 53. I'm saying this is how Helgi <gasps> gets to 86. Did he switch places? Yeah. yeah. He dies in a car accident. And that's how he wakes up in this room. That's how he gets there. No one drags him there. It's the fucking wormhole. Bro, it's like Alice through the Looking Glass. Crazy as fuck. <laughs> this is crazy. There you go. And that's Wait, that means that. <laughs> that means that. But how does he get back to his home? Where did Jonas go. Yo, where did Jonas go. Jonas is back in 2019. He's in Claudia's so. room. Fuck. When the fuck? Is this like nuclear holocaust? Or is it just snowing? Is this the war that Noah was talking about? But Claudia was in the same. That means Claudia's in the same. Timeline too, because she was out here with the sniper rifle and it was snowing and shit. When the fuck is this? Don't end this episode, please. It's in the future as fuck. What? What? What the fuck? Is that how it's gonna? Oh my god, that's how it's gonna end. Wow. In the future. I'm so glad we don't have to wait for season two. Holy fucking <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm, glad you're, I'm so glad you're the Let me wrap too. my brain around that. Good lord. Alpha and Omega. Glacier, what you think? Uh, I mean, before I say that, I just gotta, I gotta give a round of applause for a couple different reasons. Uh, three reasons. The show being nothing short from a masterpiece so far. This is the one of the best first scenes of a show I've ever seen. Yeah, period. Second is the, you guys in the comments. Um, I wanna say 99.9% .9 of you. Um, it reminds me of uh, Shadow and Bone. As far as the community, you guys did great of giving details but not spoiling anything. There, I mean, there could be one person down there, but we never, me and Ember never saw any spoilers. And if we saw anything remotely, we scrolled. And like I said, Dark and Shadow Bone are very good. You guys are all about just wanting to see our genuine reactions. Yeah, so, not jumping down our throat when we get theories wrong. Yeah, exactly. You guys actually thought they were funny, which they probably were. A lot of things we were wrong, and there are some things we were right, which we'll yeah, get so to about me, which is I gotta great. get, you know, Glacier Daps, because he guessed that uh, the stranger was Jonas. I was like, son of a bitch. And right. now, it's like, now it's like one of those things, like, once you see it, you can't unsee it. Now when I see the stranger, I see Jonas's facial, yeah, the which is crazy because they're two different actors. That's just, like, the casting right. they did with this show is brilliant. Yeah, and I I remember I was even doubting at one point, because you got me sold on Mick. I'm like, oh, you're right. It's probably not Jonas. I think his eye color is different. This is different and that kind of goes to say like they created the show where you can literally have proof evidence of two different theories and you can make them make sense because of the hints yep. that they leave and they're like the misdirects and this on the other but i guess the fact that you know the stranger did not want jonas to fuck with milk because he would cease to exist he was so adamant on that that would make sense because he's like well if you stay to exist i cease to exist which i can't stop this but and then the third reason is also to you guys, anyone that actually watched this show when Netflix first dropped it, I feel so sorry for you that you had to wait for Netflix to drop season two. Yeah, I don't I don't know. That <laughs> so was probably equivalent for that, man. Probably your patience. That's equivalent to like taking the biggest hit of crack ever and then someone telling you you can't smoke crack for a year. Or like or however long it took to release season two. First time you tried ice cream or whatever your favorite food was, and then they're like, okay, you can have this uh, in a year from now. Ridiculous, but but uh, yeah, where do we start, man? I mean, we'll, <laughs> I mean, we started with the obvious bombshell here, the fact that the stranger jumped. And yeah. I was so 
That was so badass. When he like looked at it, he's like, I am you. I was like, motherfucker, you are him. I was like, I can't even, I can't argue with it at this point, but it is what it is. And then the way, I don't know kind of drops all over the place, but I think this kind of connects what, since we're talking on that subject, during that scene when we figured out leading up to that, Noah's talking to Helgi and he's like, I got, I had this sad look boy. Yeah, I had this boy visit me with sadness in his eyes. I think he never knew what he was talking about and he said this scripture and then it transitions to Jonas, which he has that sad look on his face. And I caught that transition. I knew, I was like, he's talking about Jonas, but I was thinking that the way, I don't know, maybe it's because I misread the subtitles. I thought he was saying that Jonas, or like that boy came to him like, like at a younger part of his life, which I think that's what he said, but I was thinking that was based on the assumption that Noah's timeline is 1953, but now that we've seen it, we've kind of had time to digest it. We're pretty certain that Noah's from the future. And the evidence that we think that is because how else would he know what's happening in 2019 in the future? Remember, he knows saying, about the, the nuclear plant exploding. He knows that by Jonas thinking that he's going to destroy the tunnel, he creates it. Right, exactly. And it's kind of like, there's only a few people that, been, to, that can tell the future. That Claudia might, even told Peter and Trante, right? So that Yeah, means, she pretty much gave him like, like the timestamps, I told him like to keep track of the timestamps, the ones that they've been keeping this whole time. Right. And, and it's almost like Loki with the, uh, it kind of reminds me of King. Remember he knew the timeline up to a certain point. So Claudia and Jonas knew up to a certain point that they thought they were stopping him and really that they yeah, were so starting it. Me, needless to say, I feel like that means that when adult Jonas creates the wormhole, 86 Claudia gets sucked into it and sent to the future. Yeah. Obviously Jonas gets sent to the future with that froggy ass wormhole, he goes into the bunker. And Noah, I think, is just from the future. I think he was born there. And I think it's 33 years, so I had to guess. Because everything is, seems to be like 33 yeah. years. But we didn't really get an answer when it goes, or, welcome to the future. Yeah, I mean, we went off the fact that like when Jonas slash the stranger was talking to H.E. Townhouse, they were saying that the wormholes travel 33 years in either direction. So if that's the case, if they're in 2019 and got sent to the future, yeah, they would be in 2052. Which right. I remember I wrote that year down back like a few episodes when I was thinking, oh shit, what if they, if they can go to the future, it will be 33 years in the future, but I didn't think that they were gonna literally do that at the, like at the end of the first season. Right, so that means, and it kind of like, if you kind of think of every little detail, it kind of makes sense because when Jonas goes to see his townhouse and he gives him the old machine and why, he remember he's like, this, this is the beginning and this is the end. If that explosion caused, if that explode, if there was an explosion mm -hmm. that also caused your nuclear plant to explode, that would explain why that machine looks like fucking shit. Yeah, and that would prove that in the Trinity knot that they talk about, at the very center of that Trinity knot that connects all three timelines, that's when the explosion happens. Right. That's where adult Jonas is when he when he blows the when he has the working brass time machine and he blows and creates the wormhole. That is at nineteen eighty six. And that's why every like the nineteen fifty three timeline felt it, the eighty six timeline felt it, the twenty nineteen timeline felt it. Right. And there's either two outcomes. Either Jonas died there, the adult Jonas, or he got zapped somewhere else. Because it's possible he could still got a zap. Yeah, I feel like it would make more sense because just for example, like the way eight, or the way old Helgi died, that closed his loop. He tried to go to 86 to pretty much stop his adult, his younger adult self from like doing the kidnappings and working with Noah. Yeah. But I think it's because the older version has dementia. Because you would think that he would remember the interaction that he had with his older self from 86. He would remember like, oh, didn't I try to T-bone myself when I was older? He would yeah. remember that it didn't work. But the fact that he doesn't remember, and I feel like he's destined to do that forever. Like that's just yeah. part of his loop. He's meant to go back to 86, try to talk his younger self out of it, it doesn't work, so he gets in the car and T-bones his younger self, but he ends yep. up getting killed instead of his younger self getting killed, yep. and that's just the end of his timeline. So I feel like this is the same thing, like you Noah know, even touched on it, like Jonas, like adult Jonas, thinks that his main mission is to stop or destroy the tunnel from existing. And by, by exploding the thing under the power plant, it literally, that nuclear blast causes the wormhole to exist in the first place. Yeah, so my big thing then with that, because we, uh, my theory, like our theory is, is that Jonas and Claudia are in the future. Yeah, 86 Claudia and adult Jonas get, or 86 young. Claudia and young Jonas get zapped to 2052, and that's prior where they kind of age and they lose their life. And maybe it's like another 33 years. Or, they, or however old until they get old. Just, if you have 33 years, then I can see how that, how Claudia 86 looks like, how Claudia looks in 19. Yeah, cause that, Same and, thing with Jonas. And at some point they work together. Cause if yep. you think about it, I don't think they've ever actually met because nope. when Jonas was a kid throughout, until he was a teenager, Claudia wasn't in the picture at all. They assumed she nope. was dead and she was probably in the future during that time. Right. Right. So that would mean that they meet sometime in the future. And just like Noah said, Claudia is the main adversary. She's the one that's trying to like straighten out the timeline, as she or says. She's the shadow, according to him. Well, to him, she's a shadow, but I feel like in reality, she's more the light because she's Me trying too. to stop all this shit from happening. And but it's like that's the thing where I'm wondering is like Noah seems to know how all this plays out, 
So is he wanting it to keep repeating itself? What's his end game? Yeah, you know the thing I mean? is, like, why is he even testing out that chair if he re if he knows that what's gonna happen with the nuclear plant is gonna explode and cause the apocalypse? Right. Is that just one of those things like he has to just keep following suit and doing those actions? Because if he alters his actions, that somehow affects or stops it from happening, like a butterfly effect. If he doesn't keep like tying kids to that chair. Yeah, the only thing I can think of is in the future, if he's like the king, if he's being worshiped as a god, like if we get more of that, I don't know. Like that's the only thing I think like what, it's like, why, why wouldn't you change something? You, if you knew this was gonna play out, you know he's gonna create the wormhole or whatever. What what does that benefit you? Does he die? Does he get zapped? Is everyone in that 2019, are they zapped? Are they yeah, dead? that's the thing. What was the blast radius of that? Wormhole explosion. Alex and Regina look like they're pretty close. They were looking up at it. So we assume that Claudia gets zapped, which makes sense. And Alexander and Regina are in the, in the blast zone. They could get zapped. Possible uh, Charlotte and Peter, because they're hugging downstairs in the fucking thing. Yeah, they're hugging they're downstairs. So yeah, they could have very well they're got right zapped in the, the future. Plan. Yeah. But not everybody got zapped because they're right underneath. I mean, we, it's crazy too because we see how young Helgi gets to 1986. We assume that somebody dragged him through the, the wormhole and just dropped him there. Damn, but he crazy. got through the wormhole by the actual little wormhole that adult Joan has created. You know, oh man, you know what's crazy? The wormhole wasn't in, in where Peter and Charlotte was. Even though they're all three in the same room. Jonas was in 86, Helgi, like you said, was in 53, Charlotte was in 19, and Peter was in 19. Yeah, so for all intents and purposes, they were all in the same place. Or maybe and, there was, and they didn't show it to us. Yeah, we didn't actually see like what happened to Peter and Charlotte. So yeah. for all we know, the wormhole did open there. But um, but yeah, what we're thinking is at some point, the blueprint to that time machine exists in the future. So that time machine itself wasn't built until like 2052. So we're thinking that Claudia takes those blueprints and maybe oh. she works with Jonas at the time. Like, okay, Jonas, your job is to go to the blast zone where your former self literally, I'm, we're assuming like either zap or kill himself, causing the explosion to happen. You're gonna get the broken time machine and you're gonna take it to 86 townhouse. Meanwhile, I'm gonna take the blueprint for the time machine and take it to 53 townhouse and I'm gonna tell him to build it using this blueprint. That way, by the time you see him in 86, he's already built the time machine. So you can take the right. broken one to him and he'll fix it using the one he already built. And I'm wondering, because I'm adding a calculator, so it's 2000, it was 33 years, that means it's 2052. 2052, yeah. So that means if they're, well, if it's 86, Claudia, and 2019, Jonas, that they are, we had another 33 years on top of that before they even do the mission, because they look like they're older, obviously, when they go back. Claudia technically would be like the same age she would be if she just stayed in 86 and aged out to, to 2019. Right, so that would be 2085 before they make a move. Assuming, yeah, assuming that they're in their 86 Claudia is in 20, gets up to 2052. Right. 15 year old Jonas gets up to 2052 and they just age out 33 more years from there and that's when they figure it out. Yeah. Which is crazy as fuck, that's so much time that goes by. Yeah. You know what would be crazy though? Um, is if, I'm thinking about like like just small things, like if Alex, Alexander, and Regina get zapped in the future. It's gonna be random, they could have zapped anywhere because we saw that Helgi ended up in 86. Technically he went in the future. Yeah. So um, if they got zapped, are they going to, will they have a cure by then for what Regina's going through? Oh, like cure for cancer in the future? It's possible. It's a post-apocalyptic world, so I don't know how advanced medicine is. Been how many years? That's I'm wondering how thirty another thirty-three years, and that's how they keep her character around if she's in there. I mean, that'll be an interesting plot point there. Main question too is: we're assuming since the end of this beginning, and Jonas by Jonas trying to destroy the tunnel, he creates it. The tunnel exists underneath that exploded well, nuclear plant in twenty fifty two. So why does it take them so long to get back to the plant? And get because I'm assuming the only way they can get back. Because the other thing too is I feel like by them going to 2052, in a way, didn't they break out of that Trinity knot? Yeah. Or they created a fourth loop, so now instead of a Trinity knot, it's like a fucking like four circles interjecting. Or maybe it just created a separate- Separate line. A separate yeah. Trinity knot, maybe. Separate, yeah, maybe another one. It could be another whole, yeah, another Trinity knot. Because yeah. so you know, that happens every 33 years, right? What yeah, so at that, that point, they're in 2052, so they can go back 30, they can go back to 2019, they can go to 2085, it's like thinking about like yeah, imagine how many Trinity, how many Trinity knots are before fifty three. And see? now I mean twenty fifty two is the new central point. Yeah. If we go off of that of that theory. But that's anyways, true. like or that's the new base, right? Well, yeah, we're, that's kind of like we're saying the same thing, like the yeah. new central. But if that's the case. Why does it take them so long? Assuming that the tunnel is still under the destroyed power plant and it's still in working condition for them to go back to like eighty six or fifty three or twenty nineteen. Why does it take them so long to get back? Because we do know that. Claudia goes back to 53 to get the blueprint. Mm -hmm. She's, we see her in 86, we see her in 2019. Obviously the stranger's been time traveling, he's Jonas, so. I think my- Why theory, does it take so long? So my theory is like, it probably, well, for obvious reasons at the beginning, it's probably who the fuck those guys are with the guns. They probably- Yeah, we don't know those- shit right now. Like, like probably, who do they represent? Are they like freedom fighters? Or are they just like, you know, survivors? 
They're not, they're no, friend, they're not friendly. They, she hit the fuck out of Jonas, so I would assume they're going to do the same thing to Claudia. Especially Claudia doesn't know what the fuck's going on. She's from 86. Yeah. And she I don't know what the fucking flying shit and all oh, that. I don't know what the hell's going on. So, but the thing is, too, is that the girl that pistol whips Jonas, is she somebody, is she related to one of the four main families? She's going to be a serious character, I think. Because she has a scar on her face. So I'm sure in season two, they'll probably touch on her character, how she gets the scar, if she's be related a time to traveler. Yeah, because she could be a Nielsen, she could be a Doppler, she could be a fucking uh, code wall. She's somebody. Cause she looked like she, she, the way she looked at Jonas, she looked like she knew, like kind of like knew him. Like I kind of like I know, I know who you are. I know. Who, and I if know she about is, you. I know about you at least. I feel like yeah, they kind of look at each other. And the fact is, if she is from one of those four families, that means that at some point they had to, have, some of them had to have survived the nuclear blast, or right. some of them have died, and she would, and she grew up, and it's revenge. You're, you're the reason why my fucking family died. Piece of shit. So I'm sure, I'm sure. I mean, we're gonna probably dive right into season two. We'll get more info on that. But I, I definitely want to see how that unfolds. And it, like whatever new characters we meet in the future, how they tie into the families that we meet from the original yeah. Trinity. Not. I also want to know uh, what happens to Earl now that Charlotte knows. Like, is Charlotte gonna get zapped and go save him, or like? Or That's he, the thing. That was crazy when he found. Like, gonna yeah, as soon as like, they were taking, like, as soon as Egon was taking his mug shots, I'm like, oh my god, that's gonna end up in the archives somewhere. And sure enough, Charlotte goes in the archives, trying to look up shit on, on young Helgi, and she finds Mickle, or I mean, she, and she finds Ulrich, and I'm like. Son of a fucking bitch. You imagine if you're Ulrich though, if you're Ulrich and you go back in time like you see yourself. What the fuck? Bro, it would blow your mind. You might just pass out across some kind of like rupture in the time continuum. Who the fuck knows? But <laughs> I like how they like made little jabs at Back to the Future. Like yeah, the stranger yeah. saying like, this is no DeLorean. Yeah, that shit was funny as fuck. It's not DeLorean. Yeah. Yeah, they, they pretty much like, yeah, these kids get fucked But it's up. funny, there's parallels to it because think about it. They use the radioactive material, which I think is called Celsium, which is what he pulls out of the yellow drum. So it is the radioactive material from that little mini explosion in 86. He pulls that out and that's what literally powers the time machine. So it's yeah. kind of like how the the flux capacitor powers the DeLorean. It's based on yeah. like nuclear power. They, they have to use plutonium to fuel it. I like how they, they did, they did uh, these answer drinks? something else for us too at the beginning when Mads fell through and Peter was freaking out, trying to, so they were never, they weren't working with Noah, but they knew, it threw us off because Noah seemed like he was the only one that really knew the future. And it wasn't until like one of the later episodes when Claudia was talking to Bartosz or Bartosz and he was, he was like, yeah, everything happened the way you said it. Yeah, and we kind of get a hint that she knows what's going to happen. Yeah. We were questioning, how the fuck does she know what's going to happen? Right, and that's why I was like, okay, maybe they never knew. So maybe Peter was just, again, I could be wrong. I just think Peter was going there because he felt guilty because he was going to cheat again because he can't deny I think that's what it was. Likes, you know, he just likes guys or... or Girls, I mean, whatever you want to call, whatever you want to say. He, 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 he was like guilty because he's cheating. He went there to yeah. kind of like ask for forgiveness. That's why he was saying his prayers. And then literally mad jumps through a worm. I was thinking more so that like he, someone like, told him, like Noah told him to be here at this time. Someone's going to go through and I need you well, to Well, it makes sense. It's what he's saying too. It's like, because it's like he feels guilty of dragging these kids' bodies. And yeah, I felt like he was in on us. He was asking for forgiveness there. So but, it could have been interpreted, but more likely it's him just feeling guilt for cheating. And then, and then, uh. Claudia shows up and tells well, him. He, he calls Tronti, he's like, you need to come down here or something about your son. No, not Ulrich, your other son. And yeah. Tronti goes down. So I, the way he was acting surprised that he wasn't expecting that to happen, I feel like he just happened to be there at the time that Matt's body went through the worm. Right, and I like how they kind of like wrapped that up a little bit. And they kind of wrapped up your question when you're like, why is Claudia strapped like Rambo? It's from the future. Yeah, she's, post, she's fucking pretty much on Mad Max country right now. Like, like why the fuck do you have so many guns, Claudia? Like, what are you like, just like looking over your shoulder over somebody, like afraid of Noah? But I still like, there's so many questions. I want to know what happens to Ulrich. I also want to know what happens to fucking, you know, why does he have Bartosz out of everybody under his protege? Yeah, because Bartosz is pretty much his new Helgi. Like, think about it. I'm wondering if they just get zapped. That would make sense. Maybe they're parked in a spot where they're going to get zapped. Maybe Noah's not dead. Maybe he's in a vicinity. He's like, it's time he gets zapped with Bartosz. Because how crazy will that be when Jonas run, runs into his nemesis? His yeah, because now Jonas and Bartosz are enemies. Their best friends turn enemies because of the whole Martha dynamic and the fact that he got stood up. So yeah, I mean, that'd be crazy if they met up again. Noah's already future. fucking planted the seed. He's like, Claudia's the shadow, therefore Jonas is the shadow. Jonas is causing all this shit. Jonas is the reason and why- And Bartosz trusts Noah because he's already predicted the future, so it'd be easy for him to, he already has MO because he doesn't like Jonas anymore. Fucking Noah needs Jonas out of the picture, needs Claudia out of the picture. It would be tied back because now Bartosz has got to face his own grandmother. <laughs> So that'd be crazy that storytelling going into season two and three, but I like how they tied, they kind of confirmed kind of what we were kind of predicting in the beginning about the changing of properties. We're thinking, oh, maybe Agnes and Egon's wife had an affair and he got the shit on the stick and that's how the that house ended up being transferred to the Nielsen family. And then in this episode, Ulrich is talking shit to young Egon. He's like, oh, your wife left you, da 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 yeah, So it's like, like no knowledge that his wife leaves him. Yeah, and you see him like drinking some shots. 
So eventually they probably. The fact that, that she left him for another woman is probably like an ego check for him. Like probably fucked him up. Probably fucked him up even more is that the fact that that guy called that crazy the crazy because they didn't know that's old. Right? The crazy guy that we have locked up murdered his kid. It just sucks, man. I w- it doesn't say uh, in the newspaper. If it does, I can't read it. I, don't I think it's just like an unknown person that's like tied into in the, the, like, in the. I don't know if it was big enough font where if you spoke German, if you could read it. Yeah. But that would be a crazy MO if like young Egon realizes that that's an old Ulrich and realizes all the time travel shit. And that's what f- further fuels his hatred for young Ulrich in 86. Yeah. Because if you think about it, if young Egon finds out that that's old, that's, that older person is Ulrich and then Egon just ages out and he runs into Ulrich, like 17 year old Ulrich, knowing what he knows, he would hate him even more and try to like Oh, he's a Satanist, he's an Antichrist, whatever, da 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 Possibly that, but then I think there's some inter- interactions that he's had with him that they would have brought up. Like, I know he, like, I think Young Healthy would have, like, not Young Healthy, I think it, uh, Egon would have eventually said something like, bro, I've met you in your future, you're a piece of shit. It was crazy, though, how old Ulrich was quoting that, I think he was quoting, like, an American 80 song. It was the only time he spoke English, and he said the same shit to Egon that Egon said to Ulrich in his room in 86. <laughs> Which is crazy. That's kind of what like, makes me feel like, if Egon knew, even if he told young Or, I don't think Ulrich would even know what the fuck, like, what are you talking about, old man? Or maybe when, maybe uh, Egon told him that, maybe Egon was the first one. Remember sometimes you had to get something from the future to start? Yeah, maybe that. it was the quote he got from old Ulrich, that's why he said it to him. That's what I'm saying, that kind of leads me to believe he, he remembered that shit, that's why he said it to Ulrich. Yeah, well, or, or Ulrich remembered it and said it to him, and that's why he gave him the idea of it. Which, yeah, it's kind of like a loop, like a chicken or the egg shit. Like, old Ulrich <laughs> said it to young Egon, and that gave Egon the idea to say it to young Ulrich, but young Ulrich wouldn't have known where that quote's from. Until, until Egon said it to him. And then he gets older, and so yeah, it's literally like a fucking loop there. So, <laughs> again, this is one of the many little brilliant intricacies of this show. And I, I want to know, what the fuck is Hannah's game? She's sitting there with a gun. Yeah, she's I thought she was about to kill herself, but she's like, no, let me just practice what I'm going to do. I feel like if we kind of go down that, I mean, I feel like if we're going to keep following the characters within the original Trinity now, which I feel like we will. Then she, because we still don't know what her and Alexander are up to. They didn't really, like, they didn't really close out that story. So I feel like so she's going to try to kill Katarina. Or if Ulrich comes back, she's going to try to kill Ulrich. My thing is, is she going to, yeah, I don't know. That's a good point. I don't, what I don't know, I guess here's the thing. is is Because a nuclear power plant explodes, obviously. So, and it's 33 years in the future. Mm-hmm. Are the people that are in our 2019 timeline, some of them, we, I'm assuming get zapped. Can we assume that they all get zapped? Or do some get left there and they die from the explosion? Or they get left there and they age out? Or is it all three? I don't know, that's a good question. I guess it depends on like, I'll if our it. theory is true, like anybody that's within that certain blast radius will just get zapped to 33 years in the future, no matter what timeline they're actually in now. If I had to predict who gets zapped, I think Charlotte and Peter, Anoa and Bartosz, because it wouldn't make sense if they would just sit there and just get fucking blasted or and, and or even live through the apocalypse. Why would Noah do that? He's got, he's got, it's like you said, it's like chess. Like, I don't have to say you're Fucking live 33 years out. He looks, he's like, I'm gonna continue looking young. Uh, we're gonna go right here, we're gonna park right here, and we should get zapped right around here. Yeah. And then I think, obviously, Jonas. Um, so the whole theory of them just like, wherever timeline they're in, getting zapped 33 years in the future, that actually won't hold up if 86 Claudia gets sent to 2052. She jumped 66 years in the future. Yeah, I think, well, yeah, I think that's, so I, think it's, I think it might be random. It's in like, the 30, like, counts of 33, but it can be like, you can jump 66 years in the future, 66 years, like, it can be like, yeah. at this point, yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Like I just wonder if that's. Just, I was, I'm just curious if next season, you know, what characters are not going to be there? Any characters die from the explosion? Any characters that yeah, I can't see more of the aftermath, the aftermath of that aftermath. wormhole. Explosion. Did they get zapped? Like you know, Martha. You know, she's a big character. Uh, Ulrich's wife. We still didn't get really much from like Magnus and Francesca. We see them like the lights are flickering. We see them sleeping on the couch. What so they're them? Fucking, what so yeah, that's another thing. Yeah, man. So what's going on? A lot them? of loose ends that haven't been tied up. But um, I guess the only main thing is the bunker that has that Claudia's in that has all the artillery and the grenade. Is that the same bunker as the time travel chair is in? That's just like the 2052 version of that bunker? Or is it a completely different room? I think it's a different room. Because, I mean, like, I guess... The way they did the whole wormhole thing where Helgi and Jonas both go through the same wormhole, it would make me feel like they're both going to the same bunker just in different time period. But the yeah. way they filmed that room that has all the pictures, they don't really show, like... The, if they would have showed, like, that angle where it showed the, the bunker door and then that wall... Like the, the, every time they show like Charlotte or Tron or Peter going into that bunker in, in 2018, you know what? The you same could, frame. My my argument is like, oh, it's um, now I'm thinking about it more. It could be wrong. It could be either one because I'm thinking it's not the same room at first because I'm like, well, Claudia was in 2019. She was sitting and looking at the pictures while Peter and Charlotte had been in that room. But that's the way they filmed it. They could have been filming why she was chilling in the future before she went back when she was looking at those pictures. Yeah, and every time they show like it's the same setup. Yeah, and every time they show somebody time traveling through the chair, they get sent to that same exact room in a different time period. 
So I just feel like why would it be any yeah. different if they're going through a wormhole? Yeah, I think, I think you're right. I think it's the same room. I think it's the same room. So I'm just, what, what also kind of confuses me, I wonder how long it takes for them to work together. Because when we get to one episode where we see old Claudia looking at the pictures, there's no red string or any string for that matter from Jonas or to the stranger. And then when Jonas shows up in that bunker, the string's connected. So at what point does she connect the dots saying, oh shit, that stranger I've been working with this whole time is Jonas. Yeah, probably whenever he decided to admit it. Like, hey, by the way, uh, Jonas. Yeah, I'm sure at some point, once he realizes who she is, he's like, oh, I gotta tell you who I am. At a certain point, we have once this. I trust you. Yeah, so I feel like at some point they do work together in the future, but that's crazy as fuck that we're getting a whole nother timeline, which means whole nother characters, which are probably tied to the same main, like, four families, so. It's probably gonna be another set of three timelines, so it'll probably be. I feel like it's gonna be a new trinity. I think 52, I think 52, and they're gonna be 100 years from each other. I think the 52 is, uh, the, is like the 53 for us. And then 33 years is the 85, that's the central yeah. access point, which is why they're able to tr go back. Forward or back. Forward or back. So I don't want to go back to try to do whatever, but then there's also another 33 years on top of that. Which means that HG Townhouse wasn't the one that originally drew up the blueprint for the time issue. So the million dollar question is, who did who drew the blueprint and when does Claudia get her hands on that blueprint? Is it Noah that does it? Does Noah create the time machine? Maybe something from the past for the future. Yeah, this past time, affects the future, future affects the past. Maybe so. Townhouse did have something to do with it and it's probably within his within his um his kids or I don't know if he had kids or someone that it was inspired by him that yeah or maybe his laboratory is closed whatever stories for whatever reason still remains maybe it's like rubble because maybe he got, got killed in the blast or maybe he's already dead I'm not sure yes. but maybe his work is still in the future can something from the past can something from the past create future because can that can that blueprint technically he got they think whoever from the future found it and thought it was his and they created it and then that's where they got the blueprint I mean Thomas was saying like about talking about the paradox and even building the machine when he was talking to Stranger slash Jonas. He was talking about how that can be a paradox. Son of a bitch. And another thing too is it's like, how does Mikkel fit in all this shit? Yeah, why does Mikkel, I still haven't got that question. Like, we never got that answer why. Why does Mikkel kill himself? Well, yeah. two questions off of that. Why does Mikkel kill himself? Why does Jonas have, have a scar? A scar, because definitely. I mean, there's one scene where, where Jonas was looking up at the same piece of wood that Michael, his dad hung himself from. So I was thinking, oh shit, is he gonna hang himself? Yeah, when he's like doing that goodbye to his mom. So maybe sometime in the future when he gets old, he does try to kill himself and maybe doesn't succeed. Or someone who tries to kill him. And because we still haven't got to the pinnacle point where, where Michael saves his life. Because he says yeah. that to Jonas, your dad saved my life. And is I don't it, feel I'm like we've seen that yet. And then, yeah, I'm wondering if it's it's an older Mikkel. Like as Mikkel grows up, he's obviously already knows about, he, he knows about time travel. So he tries to, he gets somewhere where he has to save him. Because yeah, because now that there's futures affecting the past, they're going to have more information in 86 about time travel than they would have before. And we never had that scene where he said, like, your your dad saved me. Technically, our dad saved us yeah. at a certain point. So that means Mikkel would have to get there. And is that what that vision is? Because remember, it's two visions. Jonas, when he was young, has the vision of his dad in the woods covered. It looks like oil, but like maybe it could be blood. Has and, the same vision when he's about to blow the And, and it definitely looks like blood. So it's and like, Jonas, young Jonas, has a dream where young Mikkel's laying right next to him, wearing the skeleton suit. So maybe, like, he saves him because it, I'm assuming it's in the post, obviously it's in the apocalypse. Yeah. So maybe Mikkel has to get to him with something. Maybe that's how they get back. But why does he kill him? But remember, because there's that scene where he's having that conversation, like young Mikkel's having a conversation with Enos in the hospital when he's doing his magic trick. And she's telling him about the paradox of, oh, you know, if you're a human and you have a dream you're a butterfly, are you dreaming that you're a butterfly or are you a butterfly dreaming that you're a human? And he says, he lifts up the cup and there's two sugar cubes like, oh, maybe both. So maybe that's something to do with his ability to time travel or somehow like a, like save Jonas's life in the future. Yeah, something like that. But I, I don't know, there's so many like subtexts and metaphors and symbolism in the show. It's mind blowing to even think about when sitting. So we're gonna let this digest, but I can't wait to get into season two. Season one was a masterpiece. I put this up there with the first season of True Detective, first season of Westworld as far as like just Masterpieces, no denying it. Yep. Perf I give it a 10 out of 10 perfect score. Final Thoughts Glacier? Yeah, Final Thoughts 10 out of 10. I think the acting is great. The, the casting is great. The casting is great. The soundtrack is great. The storytelling is great. I mean, nothing short of excellence from yeah. watching this. I mean, I, I think it's brilliant story writing. I think the second and third season are probably going to be that much better because the way this... I never heard about this show, which is crazy. I may have heard it thrown around. I just never dug into it. Yeah. But I think that this, based, if I would have watched this when it first came out, that I'd like, sec, I'd be like everyone else, like, man, when's the second season? When's the second oh, season? Yeah. And I know damn well that they're gonna invest in the second season. I just think the second season would be that much more crazier, especially if we're dealing with like five, six. Imagine months. how much theorizing people are doing in the lead up to the second. Because I don't know if it was like a year later. I'm guessing like a year. There's probably a year between seasons. So yeah, these people are probably theorizing for an entire year. Well, what's happening? What's gonna happen? What's already happened? Like yeah. Crazy. 
But overall, yeah, like I said, this show, this show is nothing short of amazing. Can't wait for season two. Glad I don't have to wait. Dragon Certified. Yep, and um, again, you know, by the time you guys watch this, the first episode of season two will be waiting for you guys on Patreon. So enjoy that shit. We will. Dragon Certified, fucking hit it. There you have it, guys. Another one in the books. And of course, the main question is, what did you guys think in there in Drax What Land? Um, overall, what did you guys think of our theorizing? The spaghetti we threw against the wall. Some stuck, some didn't. But um, overall, what were your favorite moments of you know, our reaction to season one? Um, to season two, just excel. Is it one of those shows where every every season just gets better and better? And I mean, are we are we ready for what's about to happen? Leave a comment down below, like, subscribe, join the Dragon Squad, and remember, it doesn't matter if you're up to Fire Squad or the Ice Squad, at the end of the day, when you're a dragon, you're a dragon. That's the end of the video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We are Reaction Dragons. I am Ember. The Blaze. And I'm Glacier. The Iceborn. And until next time, we'll see you next time. time.